In this technology training quick tip, we're going to discuss how to create a calculated text string in Microsoft Access. In my small database here, I have a table of patients, and I've decided that I would like to make a phone list out of these patients. So I'm going to create a query that will retrieve the name of my patients and their phone number. I have done this by creating a query that retrieved just that information. However, I think it would look really nice if I had the last name and first name together in a text string divided by a comma and a space, as you see in this second query. So here I can see their last name, comma, space, first name, and then their phone number. This format was accomplished through a calculation in Access called a text string. Let's take a look at how we are going to create that. If we were to go behind the scenes in our original phone list with the separate fields for last name and first name, in design view I'll see that those have been brought in separately. This is considered a common database principle to divide things like name into last and first name. But in some situations, you want your output to have those things put together. So if we were to look at our second list, which has the last and first name together, and switch into design view, we can see, if I expand this column, that the very first field in my query is actually the result of this calculation. You'll see that I've created a new field name in front of the colon, and after the colon, I have put in the calculation that will give me the result of last name, comma, space, first name. So let's walk through how we did this. I'm going to go to my Create tab, decide to create a new query, I only have one patient table here that I will click Add. I will now close out of the Show Table window and just do a teensy bit of housekeeping so that I can see all the fields in my patients table. Now in my first query, I had added last name and first name separately as the first and second fields in this query. In my new query, I'm going to start just by typing out my calculated field. The first thing that I want to do is to establish a calculated field name. I decided that I'm going to name this column patient name and I'm placing a colon after that. The very act of that lets Access know that this is a name I've established for my query column. I'm going to add a space, and in square brackets, I'm going to type the field name that contains my last name data. Then I will type an ampersand. Now, in quotes, I will type a comma and a space. I will do another ampersand, and then I will put in the field name that contains the first name data. I will tab through that and then resize the column so that I can see my handiwork here. Then I'll come up here and double click on phone to add that to my query. If I go into data sheet view, I will notice that my calculated text string has worked properly. Notice it's not in alphabetical order, so I will go back into design view and in the sort row under patient name change that to ascending. I'll go back into datasheet view and see the results of that change. Let's talk a little bit about why this worked. To create a text string, the important operator you need is the ampersand. Notice we have two of
now that we have this query with our information in two columns, I could use it as a data source for something like this phone list. If I zoom in here, you'll see how the data from our query was able to be pulled into this report and make a two column phone list. Thank you for watching this technology training quick tip. For more information, please visit our website.